Hey everybody, this is Zeno and welcome to the Dynamic Prepper. Well, we have another blade on the bench for review for you today. This is the Ontario Limited Edition D2 Rat Model 1 CF. CF stands for carbon fiber. This is the Limited Edition D2 steel blade version of the iconic Rat 1 folder from Ontario. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this knife. Model number on that is 8884CF. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. As I said before, the uh, the Rat 1 folder from Ontario is truly an iconic blade. Uh, so iconic, it's been knocked off actually by a couple of other companies including Gonzo. Uh, it is a very, very popular uh, folder. Uh, the, the, the normal, sort of regular, non-special edition model of this knife is available all over the place. You can pick them up for like I think 25 bucks, give or take, a very affordable knife, a lot of people own them, but this particular one is a special edition of that blade, and uh, we'll go through the differences and features that the special edition has. Uh, only 900 of these have been produced, and they are available at a select number of retailers. Uh, I got this particular one from Shooter's Loot, which you can check out at shootersloot.com. I will put a link down in the description and pretty good price on that. These things retail for I think over a hundred bucks and uh, the going price on the internet out there seems to be around 60 bucks, give or take. And uh, you can uh, definitely check it out on shootersloot.com. Uh, that's where I got this one. Pretty good price on that knife. And uh, let's get into the details of this knife. So first of all, looking at the blade itself, it has a G10 handle with a carbon fiber uh, veneer laminate on top. It's got a nice glassy, that 3D depth that it has on uh, that carbon fiber weave. Very, very cool look. Stainless steel liner, it is a liner lock. Spacer stud as opposed to the, uh, the, the uh, backstrap spacer. Uh, that you see so it does save a little bit of weight the liner the stainless steel liner is not skeletonized uh, so it does affect the weight a little bit if I were to make one improvement to this knife I would skeletonize uh, that liner just to save a little bit of weight we'll get into the specs on this knife in just a second again it's a d2 tool steel blade as you can see right there model 1 d2 has the Ontario Knife logo there. If we flip it over, we can see limited edition, made in Taiwan, country of manufacture there. That's why this blade is affordable. Has a uh, four position uh, for the, uh, the belt clip here. You can run it tip up or tip down on either the right or left side. Uh, so whatever your carry, of preference is it is definitely achievable with this blade uh, t6 on the uh, on the screws there will get you be able to move that around anywhere you want to so that'll be this guy right there a little t6 torx head wrench there we go nice belly on the blade drop point this is a titanium nitride coating. And uh, this picture guy, the two things that really set this apart from the traditional kind of normal version, what makes this a special edition, is the G10 handles with the carbon fiber uh, laminate on it, and then also the D2 tool steel blade. So if you buy the, the normal rat uh, from Ontario, the rat folder from Ontario, that comes with an OS 8 blade which is a softer steel really easy to sharpen good sort of edc knife uh, if you're going to carry it um, but it is a softer steel and uh, definitely doesn't hold an edge as well uh, but the one nice thing is they're easy to sharpen this particular one is d2 tool steel blade which means it's a very very hard uh, uh, steel for the blade it holds an edge really really well um, the drawback to it is they're a little harder to uh, sharpen. Uh, you would need to have a diamond hone to really get this to have a good edge and be a little bit proficient with uh, sharpening a blade. Uh, but of course, if you subscribe to Battlebox this month, you got the uh, workshop 
a sharpener, so that should not be an issue at all. And of course, if you don't have one, you can uh, head on over to our BattleBox Mission 23 giveaway video and win yourself one. And then you can sharpen this knife all you want to. Uh, but there are videos out there of D2 uh, tool steel blades uh, stabbing into cinder blocks, chopping into cinder blocks, and uh, they, they don't break, they don't crack, uh, they maintain that sharpness. They are just a really, really hard, good steel. Um, tool steel is, you know, to give you an example, uh, for instance, a very common application of it is they use it uh, for punches. So they will actually make, if you're going to punch, uh, sheet steel, they make the actual punch that punches the hole into the sheet steel out of tool steel. Uh, so that gives you an idea of how, sh how hard and durable uh, D2 tool steel actually is. It is uh, probably one of the hardest steels that you can make a blade out of and still have it functional. Extremely durable, holds an edge for a really long time. It is wicked, wicked sharp very very sharp let's give it a paper test shall we here you go oh yeah it's so sharp no of course I'm kidding let's give it an actual paper test not a big fan of this test I don't think it tells you much more than the uh, user's ability to slice paper but uh, let's go ahead and take a look so there it is nice sharp knife uh, and it will again retain that edge uh, for a very long time very very durable with that D2 steel uh, blade length on this is 3.6, overall length is 8.6, our closed length here is 5 inches. Has a dual thumb stud each side, so no matter what hand you use, it is ready to go. Uh, it, again, it's a hardened stainless steel liner, titanium nitride coating. It's got a really nice even grind. Um, even at this price point, that's one of the most even grinds I've seen on a blade, even at this price point. Looks really nice. I, I'm not usually a fan of uh, what I call pretty carbon, the sort of checkerboard uh, a pattern of carbon, but I actually think it looks really nice on, on this particular blade. It just complements it well. Uh, very nice looking blade. Again, it's a G10 handle uh, with the uh, the very top laminate being uh, that carbon fiber. And I actually think it looks nice. It's got a nice depth to it. Uh, really brings out the, the look of that weave. So lock up and everything, it locks up. Really, really nice. Very, very positive lockout. Absolutely no blade play whatsoever. Um, I mean, there is just absolutely no blade play in there. Really, really good lockup and very smooth, almost uh, to the point where you have to put very little pressure on it to get it to snap open. Uh, that's what I like. Um, I love blades, especially for EDC. I think that's an important thing. Uh, living up here in the cold uh, upper Midwest, you know, I appreciate blades that are really easy to open and get to lock up because, you know, for a very good portion of the year, it's cold, your hands are cold, you're wearing gloves, things like that. Blades that are easy to open are a godsend. That is a, uh, a feature in a EDC knife that I put a lot of value in. Um, you know, this time of year, uh, right now, currently, it is, when I came down here to film this video, I looked at the... Uh, the thermostat real quick, it was two degrees outside. So that's very, very cold. <laughs> and uh, obviously if you're, if you're uh, tooling around outside, if you're out and about uh, and you need to use your knife for EDC purposes or whatever, um, having a knife that's easy to open uh, when your hands are uh, pretty cold or when you're, using, uh, when you're wearing gloves or whatever, is uh, very very important and so I have uh, I place a lot of of emphasis on knives that are easy to open very comfortable knife to carry it's a little bit on the heavy side so our spec weight on this uh, I want to say is 5.5 ounces let's bring out our uh, our scale here and we'll wait for that to zero there we go we're in ounces right yep so we're at 
5.4 uh, ounces. The spec weight on this, I believe, was 5.5, so we're uh, you know slightly under uh, a spec weight, which is fine. That's close enough. That's definitely doable. And uh, I definitely think we could save some weight on that by skeletonizing that liner. Um, but again, you know, that lockup is really, really nice. I really, really like that lockup. Sometimes when you skeletonize a blade, you sacrifice that. Um, so, you know, that's a give and take there. You, you put up with uh, a, a, a tiny little bit of extra weight for a really, really good lockup. You know, that's a give and take. Uh, I think they've cut weight here wherever they really could. They use, the, as, as I mentioned before, they use the studs here uh, as opposed to a solid back strap. Uh, you know, that would have, obviously add a little bit of extra weight to the blade. I really think they've done about as much as they can do without going to that next level and making this a full G10 handle and upping the price point, obviously. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a give and take. But I'm a fan. There it is, the Ontario Limited Edition D2 Rat Model 1 carbon fiber handle. Uh, you can check them out at ShootersLoot.com. It looks like an assisted knife, doesn't it? Just how quick that pops out. It's not. It's not assisted in any way. That's just how smooth it is. I could sit here and do this all day. <laughs> So that's it, the Ontario Rat 1 model uh, CF limited edition D2 blade. Uh, as I said, this is limited edition knife. Only 900 of these have been produced. Once they're gone, they're gone. If you're interested in getting one, get out there and get it. Don't sit on it. These won't be around forever. And in my opinion, no knife collection is complete without a model 1 rat from Ontario. Uh, they're very affordable, even the limited edition here. Uh, it's a you know, very affordable knife, and uh, there's no excuse not to have this great knife in your collection. Uh, so check it out. I posted a link down below where I got mine and where you can get one too. Uh, as far as I know, you're not going to find these on Amazon. I'm not saying you can't find them a lot of other places, but I haven't seen these on Amazon at all. Um, whether or not there's a retail restriction there or whatever, um, you know, it's a limited edition knife. Uh, there's no shortage of people that want this knife and people are willing to pay a decent price for it. Uh, so as I said, they're going for uh, 100 bucks retail, over 100 I think, retail. Uh, Shootersloot.com has them at 67 bucks. That's where I got mine. Check them out, Shootersloot.com. And uh, don't forget to tell them I sent you. There you go, everybody. Great knife, pick one up, you will not be disappointed. This is going to be my EDC knife of choice for I think a while. I'm really liking it. It just, it hooks up well. It just, oh, it slides in out of the pocket nice, rides nice. Uh, overall, there's a reason why this is an iconic knife and you don't want to be without one. So there you go. Ontario limited edition D2 Rat Model 1 carbon fiber. Get one, see how durable that D2 blade is, give it your own test, huh? Take it easy, guys.